what's going on guys good morning I literally just woke up because today I wanted to show you my full routine what I do when I wake up so the first thing I do is well the first thing I actually do is take a piss before I'm gonna weigh myself because I'm gonna do that now but I already took that piss because I'm not gonna take you guys with me so um, yeah I got the skill in my room so literally when I wake up I uh, walk to the skill and I weigh myself so let's see 81.7 so that is literally a new low weigh-in for me uh, which is really good and which I'm definitely happy about because I've been eating around 2500 calories this week um, so that's pretty cool it seems like I'm dropping weight pretty like rapidly um, but I've been doing cardio as well so I've been bumping that up a little bit I've been going a little bit too hard probably on this cut but um, I kind of maintain my strength um, yeah, the last few weeks, I didn't lose any strength yet, but I also didn't really gain any strength. And my last cut, I was able to kind of gain strength the first month or so. So this cut is going a little bit too hard, I guess. So I'm probably just going to cut out a little bit of cardio or just going to get that reefy going again. Um, so it's going to be fine. And I feel like daily weigh-ins are one of the most important things of tracking progress and all that. So yeah, the weather is pretty solid outside. Um, but yeah, we're in the Netherlands, so obviously the weather is not great. But yeah, I feel like daily weigh-ins are very important, and I have all my clients do daily weigh-ins and send me the list every week. Um, so yeah, basically everybody who is my client and myself are weighing themselves every single morning. And uh, I think it's a great way of tracking your progress, also if you're bulking, um, but when you're cutting especially, because you want to lose about one pound a week, which is around half a kilo per week. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what you want to do. So if you want to track that, then the skill is perfect for that. And obviously you want to take progress pictures as well. And you want to look in a mirror and look at how, how your body is changing and all that. And you will also notice that after a reefy day or just after having a meal with a lot of salt in it, um, the next day you might wake up and be at a little bit of a higher weight. But if you track all that, then it's going to make sense. And you're going to understand that, oh, I might have lost weight, but I ate salt. So I might have gained a little bit of weight while I lost fat. Right, it sounds a little bit weird, but um, yeah, that's what happened. So, so yeah, I actually got back into my bed, um, and I'm working from here because I'm working on some meal plans, training programs, and just answering regular emails and um, comments on YouTube. So, um, yeah, that's one of the benefits about being your own boss is that you can actually work wherever the hell you want from your bed. Um, but no, that's what I usually do the first hour after waking or so, and then um, I'll go downstairs. And I'm also working on a new free program, which is going to be the upper lower program. And you guys have been asking me a lot about this. So I, I want to make it happen and I'm going to make it happen. So I'm working on that and it's going to take around one to two more weeks um, until it's completely finished. So I'm definitely excited to release that. And for you guys that are new to the channel or you haven't watched a lot of my videos, I am like to follow an approach called intermittent fasting, um, which means I put all my meals into an eight hour time schedule. So I start eating at two o'clock until around 10 o'clock. So um, what I usually do to go through my mornings is drink a lot of water, all right? So I got a whole, there is no crystal clear in this, um, but I do like crystal clear as well. But in the morning I drink water. Um, so I got one and a half liters of water here. So I usually drink that within the first hour. Um, and then later on I will have coffee when I start to get really hungry. And that is usually around 11 or 12 o'clock. I start having my first cup. And then I'm gonna have one to four cups. But um, yeah, that's what I'm like to do. Um, today I'm gonna go to the barber, I guess. I wanna make an appointment right now because my hair is getting way too long and it looks like complete shit to be honest. All right guys, around four hours later now, I got a bunch of work in. And that's one great thing about fasting is that you're very energetic, you can get a great amount of work in. But I've said this before, um, but I'm gonna make coffee now. It's around 12 o'clock. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know as well, like why I'm shooting this video today. And today is going to be kind of a special video because I'm going to eat out tonight. And I wanted to show you guys how I adjust my food intake when I'm eating out. Um, because in the Netherlands, believe it or not, when you eat out, there is not really any nutritional information on the food. Um, when I lived in America, every, like, almost every restaurant had like nutritional information on the like, menu card. It was, it was amazing. Um, but right here, we cannot really track that food, so we have to kind of eyeball it. So yeah, I want to kind of show you guys how I'm going to do it. I'm going to have two or maybe three meals today. I'm going to fast a little bit longer than usual, so I can save most of my calories for at night. Because right now, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to eat tonight, right? I don't know yet, and I want to be able to eat anything that I want to eat. 
So I want to save most of my calories for the dinner. Um, and I really like eating out, so it's not something that's going to hold me back when I'm dieting. And I'm not just going to eat out on reefy days or on cheat days. I can eat out and still lose fat, all right? It is possible. Um, it's a little bit harder. Like, if you do it every day, it would be kind of hard, to be honest. But um, if you do it once or twice a week, it's going to be fine, right? You just want to kind of adjust your diet to it. So I'm going to show you that today. Uh, right now, I'm making some coffee. And I'm going to have my first meal at 3 o'clock today because I'm going to work out at 4 o'clock with my brother and he's also going to be with me eating out tonight so um, that's going to be pretty cool um, so I'm have one meal at 3 o'clock then I'm going to work out probably have one shake afterwards and then I'm going to eat out so I'll show you guys all that let's get scuffy going and um, after this I'm about to go to the barber so let's do this alright guys so I'm about to go to the barber right now so um, this is how it looks before going let's see how it looks when I get back so there you have it, fresh haircut. It's looking pretty good. Um, honestly, I expected it to be a little bit longer on top. It's pretty damn short, but um, at least the hair is not falling over my eyes anymore because I did not like that. I'm about to have another cup of coffee and um, then about three o'clock I'm gonna eat my first meal. So uh, stay tuned for that meal. I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay guys, so it's three o'clock right now. I'm eating my first meal. So I got the oatmeal here. If you wanna see the full recipe, you can click this video right here. And I put one scoop of protein in there, and then I'm cooking up one omelette here. There we go. A little bit better. I got uh, four egg whites and one whole egg. Because I'm trying to keep the protein very high today. Um, trying to keep the fats a little bit lower. Because tonight at a restaurant, usually there's a lot of fat. So I'm trying to just take in a lot of protein, keep the carbs and fats low. And then tonight I can kind of look at how many calories I have left. Um, and I can play around a little bit with the fats and carbs. So what I focus on today is getting enough protein in and getting my um, calories in. So it doesn't really matter how many fats and carbs I have. So usually I try to stick to a very high carb diet and pretty low fats. But today the fats are going to be a little bit higher. And uh, for one day it doesn't really matter. So that's how I approach it. So let's eat. And then I'll see you guys at the gym. Alright, so getting my pre-workout going. And then we're about to kill it. just got the workout in so right now I'm drinking a protein shake just one scoop of protein and um, then I'm gonna eat out in about an hour so um, yeah that's basically it um, like I said I'm focusing on eating a lot of proteins before I eat out because I don't know how many protein is gonna be in that meal and protein is the number one macro that I'm gonna focus on so first it's protein then it's kind of calories and then I'm looking at how many fats and carbs it doesn't really matter as long as I hit my protein goals and my caloric goals all right so that's what I'm doing when I eat out um, I don't really care too much about fats and carbs because I want to enjoy myself, right? I want to be able to eat whatever I want at the restaurant, guys, because that's basically how I make this lifestyle fit my lifestyle, right? I want to accommodate fitness and enjoying myself every single day. So this is how I make it happen. So um, I suggest you guys to do the same. If you're eating out on one day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to hurt your goals. See, I'm going to drink a shake now, then take a shower, go to the restaurant. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to take my camera with me. So I'll probably show you guys some pictures of the food right now. So uh, check it out. All right, guys, I just showed you that food and it was pretty good. Um, it was a little bit less like calories than I expected it to be. Because it was a Mexican restaurant. I expect a lot of guacamole and things. I kind of overestimate the calories, I guess. Um, I saved around 1,500 calories for that meal because I'm having a bowl of quark right now. So um, that'll put me at 2,500 calories if it was 1,500 calories, but I think it was a little bit less. So I'll also put my total daily macros on the screen without um, the eating out. Okay, so this around 1,000 calories. I'm gonna have that bowl of quark right now and um, that will put me at around 100 grams of protein. And that steak definitely gave me around 60 grams of protein and then the other meals a little bit of protein so I'm probably at 180 protein at least so that's all good um, and my calories are definitely 2500 or maybe a little bit less but I rather underestimate my calories than overestimate them that's one thing I learned about eating out you rather wanna when you eyeball calories anyhow you always want to underestimate your caloric intake 
All right, guys, so this is the last meal I was telling you guys about, and that's around 40 grams of protein, great meal. Um, and I'm adding some flavor drops for my protein, which is really, really amazing. Um, gives it a lot more flavor. So I'm having the vanilla. You only have to do a few drops, like four drops is fine. And um, you're good to go. You can do this with oatmeal, cottage cheese, shakes, anything. So yeah guys, that was pretty much the video. I hope I gave you guys a good insight on how I plan all these things. And um, it's basically the same thing if you're drinking alcohol. But I'll explain that in a separate video. Because I drink alcohol pretty regularly guys, believe it or not. Um, so I'm gonna explain that as well. And it's basically kind of the same approach, but a little bit different. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like the video down below. Make sure to comment down below as always. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Peace out guys, see you in the next video.